All right, in today's Health Smart, tis the season, as they say, to uh, show a little more skin. I didn't write that. <laughs> I actually did. And then, of course, uh, <laughs> your words, not mine, and bask in a healthier you. All right, so what are um, some simple tips to uh, get you in summer shape and, more importantly, keep you in shape? Physician nutrition specialist Dr. Adrian Udeem joins us with some of those answers. Welcome. Good to see you. It's great to be here. Also, let's talk about this. You were so funny uh, when we were emailing back and forth. You were saying that we can talk about why diets fail because basically here in LA, everyone's on a diet 24 7. This is LA. LA is diet town, right? Yeah. Why do they fail often? It's mm -hmm. hard to follow a diet. Yeah. But we are so inundated with tips and gimmicks and tricks mm -hmm. that we forget about that. And the problem is twofold. One is that it is, um, it's just not true. It's mm. deceitful. But the other problem is that that manages, that changes our expectations. Mm -hmm. And when you expect something to be easy and it's yeah. not, then you're much more likely to fail, right? Yeah, one of our makeup artists was saying when she's on a diet, she seems to gain weight because she can only think about what she's going to eat next, you know? That's so. right. And, and the other point is that we're kind of thinking about it all the time. You mm -hmm. know, along the same lines, when you are, um, when you have these expectations that you need to manage, um, we also need to expect to fail once in yeah. a while and to have slip ups. And so when you have that slip up, there's two ways to go. You can either kind of jump back on the wagon mm -hmm. or not, but you really don't have a choice. So. Managing your expectations, mm. knowing that there are going to be slip ups, are going to help you kind of stay focused. Yeah. So, can you give us some of the tips? I mean, uh, we're, we're talking about beach season, it's l literally here. And maybe some people are late to the game. So maybe some tips, some healthier tips. What can people do? Right. right let's, let's talk about practical things, right? So I'll tell you, one of the things that are my personal pet peeves is the health outlets that are popped up all over town. Um, juicers and acai bowls, that's a big one. We kind of associate these things with health, right? But there is actually a shop in my area where the acai bowl is about 680 calories. Wow and 92 grams of sugar. Mm. That's about two or three cans of soda. And so one tip would be to really be watchful about what those health foods are and the things that we're told are not necessarily always healthy. We also talk about, I mean, obviously if you're dieting, you know to eat salads and not use the high caloric um, dressings. But what I liked, one of the things you talked about is being mindful when you eat, like don't have the television on if you possible or your phone, but also chew slower. Sure. So we yeah. are kind of always attached to technology. We used to be attached to our TVs and now we're always attached to our phones. And the studies show that when you eat in front of the television or if you eat in front of the phone, you actually consume more mm. and you're more likely to gain weight. Uh, the converse to that is when you sit down at a family meal with your family, kids are much more or less likely mm. to be obese if they're oh. sitting to family meals every night. So really focusing on not eating with technology, mm -hmm. but eating with family. And that makes you more mindful, right? Not to mention how rude it is when someone's eating and on the phone. <laughs> right, you, exactly. You but you do, when you're on the phone or if you're reading while you're eating, you don't even realize you're not being present. I think that's a really big thing in our life as well. But And also, as uh, we talked about, it's, it's a journey, just like everything in life. We appreciate the tips. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. If you'd like to find out more information uh, about Dr. Adrian Udeem, her website is dradrianudeem.com, or you can visit her office in uh, Beverly Hills. It's on Lasky Drive. Thanks. All right. Coming up this afternoon, Doug.